So now we're going to use the board to demonstrate how to teach subtraction with the standard algorithm. When teaching subtraction, use your addition to lead into your subtraction problem. So have the child start by doing an addition problem, as you can see is already finished on our board. And when we subtract, we want to be sure the child is clear. What do we start with when we subtract? A part or a whole? We start with our whole. We start with our whole. So we're going to rewrite our, our new problem, which is going to be our subtraction problem. So we're going to start with 7,943. And we're going to subtract a what? A part. A part. So we're going to subtract this part, 2,564. Now, the difference being with subtraction is that, again, the child's going to build the hole, which is already built here from doing our addition problem. I'm going to slide this up just a little bit. And then what they're going to do from their place value strips is they're going to use their place value strips to get the value of the part. And okay. they're going to show that in expanded form Okay, down so here. I need to build 2,000. Now I'm going to slide these over just a little bit because I want them to see it in expanded form a little bit. Nope, so put that one in 500. Here. Yep. And some of them will overlap and that's okay. 64. So they're showing this part in expanded form using their place value strips. So now when we're using the standard algorithm to subtract, where do we begin subtracting? We begin in our ones. In our ones place. So in our ones place, when we look at the problem, we have how many ones to be in the pl in that place? Three ones, and, and they I want need us to take, take away four ones. Can I put it there? No, I want you to leave, leave it here. here. So can I physically pick up four ones and put it on top of that value four? No. No. So since I can't do that, what do we have to do? So I have to make a fair trade. So we're going to move a 10 over. Now, what value are you showing right here in your ones place by moving that 10 over? 13. 13. But we, are we going to, do we want to keep this 10 or what are we going to do with that 10? Well, I need to break it into ones. Right. So, so what I want you to do first is move these three ones down here to the bottom. Because what confuses students, if they leave those three ones there, a lot of them will only put seven on. Or so, they put on one more to make four. Right. So we're going to move those to the bottom, and then they fill in the ten frame to put on their ten ones. So now, what value do you see in your ones place? Thirteen. Was that the same as when we had a ten and three ones? Yes. Now, can I use those ones to take away four? Yes. So I want you to stack, starting from the ones at the bottom, and put them on that number four and take them away. Now, how many ones did we leave here? Nine. Before we're going to record that, let's show what we did. Okay, Go so to your tens. We I, started so I, with four tens, and what did we do? Well, we made it three tens and thirteen ones. And when we subtracted, how many ones did we have left? Nine. Nine. Now, when we go to our tens place, what value do they want us to be able to take off? I need to take away six tens with the value of 60. Can we do that the way we're currently showing this Not number? the way we're showing it now. So what are we going to do? Okay, I'm going to put this up here because I need to make a fair trade for 100. Now, before you do this, what, okay, go ahead, move those out I was going to move these down here. And now I'm going to put in and now I have to take this away otherwise it's too I have too many. Right. So before you do the subtraction, what I want you to do is show the regrouping over here because this is another way you can do it. Before they subtract, they can figure out what's going to happen here. Oh. What did we do with our regrouping? So I took a hundred, so now I have eight hundreds and I should have. 13 tens. So what va so with 800 13 tens, what value is that? 800 plus 10 more makes 930. 930. When we were looking at it as 900s 3 tens, did that have the same value? Yes. So when we regroup, did we change our value? No. No. Our value did not change. The way we're showing that value is what changed. So now that we showed it here in our recording, can we take off our six tens? Yeah. So we're going to put that value of 60 on there. And now we're physically going to take that away. And how many tens are you left with in the tens place? Seven. 
13 minus 6 is 7. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Okay, so now in our hundreds place, how many hundreds do we currently have in our hundreds place? Oh, I have eight hundreds. And how many do we need to take away? Five. Can we hundred. take five hundreds away? Yes. Yes. So we're going to stack those on top of that value, 500, and pull that away. Do we need to change anything with our recording up here? No, because I had eight, and I had to take away five, 800, and I had to take away 500s, and that left me with 300s. In our hundreds place. Okay, so now when we go to our thousands place, how many thousands do we have? It says I have seven here, seven here. And how many do we need to take away? I need to wait, take away 2,000, so I'm going to take away two of these. And how many thousands does that leave us with? Five. Five. Oh my gosh, look! It's the same thing! So we can use that to show that inverse with addition and subtraction. So kids can see the part, the relationship between the parts and the whole stays the same. Nice job. I think we made it through two videos.